coal traps have been around for a long time and typically you'll notice on coal traps they have a very tiny inlet and a very tiny outlet. That's what the standard run-of-the-mill cold traps, uh, how they're configured. Well, for Cascade Sciences customers, we found that to be a uh, impediment to rapid high production vacuum purge. When our customers are trying to liberate solvents in a very rapid manner off of their products, they don't want to cause a giant traffic jam if they put a cold trap in between the oven and the pump. So we've designed what's called the max trap. This is a cold trap that doesn't impede the vapor flow out of the oven and then into the pump. So instead of buying a standard off-the-shelf cold trap that has a very tiny inlet and a very tiny outlet, we have very large KF25 inlet and outlet into our cold trap. This is mechanically refrigerated. It goes down to minus 50 C. And this is a standard base unit that we get from Thermo Fisher Scientific. What Cascade has done is reinvented the actual trap itself so that vapor flow is not, is not imp impeded, if that's the right word, in any way. So the secret is inside the trap you will see these patented waffles that create a very large dynamic surface area for whatever we're trying to trap. You'll also notice this very long stainless steel tube. So all of this gets wicked cold. When this gets wicked cold, we have a tremendous amount of surface area to do the job of stopping the gunk from being ingested by the vacuum pump in a very rapid, high production environment kind of a way. That's the main difference between the Max Trap, Cascade's Max Trap, and, say, standard off the shelf cold traps. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to give us a call. Myself or Kat would be happy to help you or visit our website, send us an email. We'll make sure that we get you pointed in the right direction.